Welcome back to the channel guys, it's Dem from 21 Vintage. Any of you guys that watched the eBay video would have seen that one of the items for our thrifting challenge has already sold. And you know what that means? We get to make a second part. So the item that sold was the brown Timberland jacket, really nice like leather collar. Just a really nice piece. A lot of you guys said that it was really cool as well. I listed it on eBay for 40 and within a day or two sent out an offer of 35 and they accepted. So that then leaves us with just under £30 after the fees and the postage have been taken out of it. Over the last week or so I've been hitting the charity shops and I've managed to spend that money. So I'm going to run you the clips and then we'll show you what I picked up. So our first stop was Tracy Solace. This shop always has like cheap bangers first thing that I picked up was this 90s adidas sweatshirt already off to a really strong start and it was only a pound then next to it was this slipknot t-shirt again one pound and we do really well with band t-shirts very nice I then headed it inside and I spotted this pair of Dickies Vermont trousers they're like waterproofs they're only two pound I see them quite a lot so I thought I'd give them a go I was so happy to find this, another vintage Aston Villa piece. Jazz won't be best pleased, but there's plenty of profit in it, so she'll have to put it with it on the shop. <laughs> now look how sick these shorts are. Proper like retro Reebok all over print. And these were half price as well, only £1.50. Now I would have loved to pick these Nike trainers up. Could have probably got about £30 for them, but I did a few tests. The actual like bubble bit just didn't feel right felt proper like deflated so wasn't worth it so in the same shop as those trainers i did spot these nike shorts they're from the 90s really nice like mesh basketball design a bit different i'm pretty happy with what we managed to pick up some of them i didn't actually manage to get clips for in the charity shop so they're still going to be fresh without further ado let's get into the pieces just a bit of a breakdown of what i'm expecting to list them for and what kind of platforms i think they're going to do best on First thing that I'm going to show you are these blue Reebok shorts. Now these aren't in the best condition but they're proper vintage and I just thought they looked too cool to leave. As you can see close up they've got like the Reebok logo going all the way through them. Just like a proper subtle design but I really love that detail. You've then got this raised logo by the leg. That's the kind of ropey condition bit but apart from that they're in really good condition so I was happy to pick them up. Proper old looking tag as well. They are size large and they were only £1.50 so it was worth the risk. I don't expect to get crazy money for them but they do look sick. They'd be perfect for summer. I'm going to be listing them on Depop and Vinted. I think they're going to sell on Vinted to be fair. Can offer a bit of a cheaper price over there so even if we got a fiver. The other pair of shorts that we picked up are Nike. These have this like cool kind of like hold design to them. Just reminds me of like proper American shorts. Now these aren't that special, they've just got the white swoosh. But the reason I picked them up was the tag. So that's the 90s white tag, size large, £4.50, paying up slightly, but I think we should comfortably be able to get between 15 to 20. Probably sell on Depop, but I'm gonna list them on everywhere and hope for the best. Next pair of bottoms are Levi's. Now, I don't usually pick up Levi's, but these were too cheap to leave. So they are the 514s, really nice like cream white color. Another like proper nice summery piece. They're waist 32, length 30, so a decent enough size. And they cost 3.99, so I just could not leave them. We haven't done particularly well with Levi's in the past. Usually we struggle to sell them for a tenner, but, but I looked these up and they sell pretty well on eBay, I think. Should be hoping for about the 20 to 25 pound mark. And that's the thing, when we've had Levi's in the past, we haven't been selling on eBay. So maybe that's the catalyst to get Levi's selling for decent money. Then we picked up these Levi's trousers. They're like rain trousers, like waterproof. The actual model is Vermont trousers. They're actually new with tags as well, which is a bit more of a seller. They're only 250, so I've seen them quite a few times in charity shops, so this was kind of an experiment for me to see whether I should be picking them up. But from my research so far, they're probably not worth tons. I think these should sell best on eBay, but I'm still going to list them on Depop as well. Hoping for about 15, but I think we should be aiming about £10. So we've got this Realtree camo t-shirt. 
I know what you're saying, where's the t-shirt? I'll pick this up for myself mainly, but I didn't like how the collar fits, so I'm going to add this to the challenge. Was three pound. We've done pretty well with like camo pieces. This real tree is quite in fashion at the minute, I feel. It might be on its way out though, so I'm going to slap it up fast. Usually sell for between 10 to 15, so it's not crazy money, but I did buy it with me in mind. Probably going to sell it on Depop the best, but I could see it selling on eBay as well. Size XL as well, so it's got a lot going for it. The other t-shirt that we picked up was this Slipknot Band t-shirt. Cool graphic on the front, and it's also got a big print on the back. Size large, it is new age, I think it's from 2018. This was only a pound, and Slipknot t-shirts are kind of popular. Probably going to list this for about 15 to 20. Finally, we're on to the jumpers. The first one that I picked up was this Adidas Swansea City Football Club uh, hoodie. It's size large, just a simple black and white design. So the real reason I picked this up was for how cheap I thought it was going to be. On the tag there, I thought it was going to be a pound. There's that little squiggle next to the one though, so it was actually four pound. I'm going to try between 15 to 20. I think that's the kind of tactic that I'm going for with this challenge. None of the pieces have been like crazy sellers so far. There might be a couple coming up. But if I can find stuff cheap enough that I think will sell pretty fast if I put it up for a cheap enough price um, and there's still profit in there, then I'm happy to try it. All right, next we've got this Reebok fleece. Nice blue colour. It's a really nice, like, comfy cotton material. You've got the embroidered logo on the chest. The zipper is so sick as well. Look at that. Nice like jelly design. The tag looked pretty old. I'm gonna say that's about early 2000s. I don't really know Reebok tags, but that's kind of my guess. The sizing's all washed out as well, so it's had plenty of use. This was really cheap as well, only two pound. I'd say this was the best piece that I picked up from the shop that I picked it up from. It was in there with the Swansea hoodie and the Realtree t-shirt. Somehow this was the cheapest. I don't know how. I'm gonna slap this up on Depot for about 20 to 25, I think and I can definitely see it selling on there. This next piece I was super excited to see. It was a whopping pound for a bit of vintage 90s Adidas. A very bright sweatshirt. It's got like a puff print design to the logo. It's also got a hit on the sleeve as well. Insane to find this, especially for a pound. But then when I was taking the photos under the box light, I saw why it was a pound. It's got a bit of stain in here. It's pretty light. I think if I slapped it in the wash again, I could probably get it out. Should be able to get about 20 to 30 for this. Because of the colour, it might be close to 20. But there might be someone out there that wants to stand out, and this would definitely do the job. And then the final item that we picked up, this was the most expensive, I think. It's this Aston Villa fleece. It's a nice vintage one. It's by Hummels. It might be like early 2000s, late 90s, that kind of time. It's got this really sick design down the sleeves and just like the subtle logos on the chest. Yeah, I've done really well with Aston Villa fleeces in the past, like the jumpers. I've had the same guy pick up the ones that I've listed so far, so hopefully he comes and swoops this up. Paid a fiver for it. I'm going to list it for 50 because there's none similar to it. The last fleece that I sold that was Villa, I sold for 35, so it might be close to that mark, but I'm just naming my price. I can accept offers. And I think this will definitely sell better if that guy picks it up on Depop. But I think it could also sell on eBay. It's like a collector's piece, isn't it? So there we have it. We've got our next step. I'm going to get all these listed. They should be all on Depop by the time this video goes out um, and on other platforms, probably a bit later. So if you're interested in any of the items you saw, definitely head over to our Depop, two on Vintage. They should be on there and yeah. Once a couple of them have sold, there will be a new episode of this, so keep an eye out for that. Thank you for watching, hope you have a great day, and I'll hopefully catch you in the next one. Bye!